Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch Sea channel. What have I got for you today? It is the Vector Quads, Vector Quads, Tilt Rotor Quadcopter. So this quadcopter can tilt its motors forwards and backwards. Now, uh, my first video on this quadcopter is actually quite a while back. Uh, the presentation of the frame kit, so to speak. Uh, it took a while to get it uh, flying. Why? Well, I busted an ESC on my first test and that ESC was out of stock. Yep. So I uh, had to wait for that a while and uh, now I've got a new ESC in it and we'll have a look how this puppy flies. Here we go. Okay, wish me luck. Well, what do you know, it actually does fly. I'm in uh, horizon mode, so uh, fully stabilized. And I am at this moment not using the tilting at all yet. I'm simply flying it as a normal quadcopter. And I uh, first want to know if it uh, hovers uh, reasonably well, which it does. This uh, flight controller in it uh, is a Nate 32, but it doesn't have an, a barometer, so no alt hold. Um, I'm obviously looking for PID tuning uh, things and what uh, the throttle feel is like. The rates. Um, your rate is a bit, a, a bit slow. Yeah, the your rate is a bit slow. Other than that, yeah, it flies. So that's nice. I'm obviously happy with that. It is uh, quite windy, by the way. All movement you see at this moment is all wind. Ha <laughs> damn. Okay, let's set her down for a second. Okay, now I'm gonna engage the tilting. And here, let me show that to you. This is now pitch forward. And this is pitch backward, forward, backward. And Actually, the flight controller gets no input about the pitch at all in this uh, in this setting. Oops, it disengaged. Okay, flying it in uh, so much wind isn't ideal, obviously. Far from it. Okay, uh, as you saw it, yeah, it looks a little diff uh, different or strange, act, uh, really, this. The quad doesn't bank forward or pitch forward at all if you accelerate. That's weird. Isn't that weird? And I'm breaking it now. Yeah, the fly I, it looks like I have to add a little bit of mixing into the throttle or something. Hot damn! Ooh. <laughs> uh, that was a hard break. Uh, it was a little upset by uh, that uh, hard breaking. Okay. <laughs> Acceleration works great though. And breaking up to about 40 degrees of pitch backwards works well too. Beyond that, the flight controller is a little upset. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it, it, the main thing you have to get used to is what it looks like. You don't see the quad pitch forward, but it does accelerate quite a bit. And well, if you hadn't uh, figured that out yet, uh, obviously one benefit of this is that you don't have to pitch your FPV camera up. I do have an FPV camera on it, but it's uh, completely, uh, it's dead level.
And let's see, I'm flying it on a 1300 3S. A uh, tattoo from Jensace. Very good lipo. It's, uh, it's easier to fly than I had expected. Yeah, acceleration is great, man. Cool stuff. The yaw rate really, really is far too slow. Uh, that's just the setting, of course. Yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm happy it flies. It finally flies. Took a while, but it finally flies. And uh, flying it in tilt mode is, is fun. It, it looks very different from uh, what you'd ex expect from a quadcopter. And in terms of flying it, will probably, uh, especially in FPV, will probably get, take some uh, getting used to. Because you don't see that tilt happening. But it flies. Now one thing about tilt rotors. Obviously I can fly it in echo mode without the tilting. But with the tilting engaged. Um, let me, oops, let me try and explain that while showing you the radio this arm. Okay, um, a tilt rotor, if you want to fly forward, you all uh, you will have to apply forward pitch all the time. If you let go of it, the motors will pitch on back upwards. So, acro mode would be really strange. Uh, bank, you wouldn't have to hold on to the stick, and pitch, you would. I'm not sure. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, maybe I'll try it, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, obviously I'm very happy, as I mentioned before, that it flies and it flies pretty well. Your rate, I'll have to look into, and I'm not sure about that re uh, strange oscillation in a hard break. Uh, I'm not. I haven't figured out if that's really a problem or if I just should limit. The, the backward thrust. I was going a bit crazy on that uh, on that brake maneuver. Oh well. All right. For now, thank you very much for watching. Of course, hope it was somewhat entertaining or informative, and hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.